in action here with Just a Note. So this last week we went out to UTA's campus and we got to pass out over 60 notes. Now 30 of them we wrote ourselves, but 30 of them got written by other students. And so what we did was we gave out a card, we asked the person if they wanted to, to pass on the power of a card and they were like, yeah, let's do it. So they would write their own message to a student and then they would, we would give them on behalf of them. And guys, we just wanted to share with you what the power of passing handwritten notes can do for other people and for their day. Um, some of the responses that we got were absolutely amazing and we just love being able to encourage you guys. Now you guys may be wondering how you guys can get involved. To get involved, you can go to cardsforcubs.org. And here you will find a few different things about Cards for Cubs, and you can scroll over to Just a Note. And here you can click down on the menu and you will see a little bit more about our mission with Just a Note and how we got started. Here you can then click on the template for Just a Note and you'll be able to download it yourself. We can't wait to see how you get involved. Hi everyone, and welcome back to another Barely Art Live. I'm here, well, just me right here, but we also have another guest crafter on today, uh, but we'll introduce her in just a moment. First, I have a few announcements to go through with you guys. So first we have, uh, you just saw that video with Grace um, about Just a Note. We're very excited about how that project's going. Um, in fact, today they were at a uh, 
college campus talking to more kids again. So it was a lot of fun. I heard it was pretty successful. Um, next we have the uh, request your favorite store. So we do have wholesale and uh, we want barely art products everywhere available to you. So if you go on our website, you can find a request your favorite store on our wholesale. I believe that's the same tab and you can um, request where your local store, not Michael's, not Hobby Lobby, um, local stores um, who you'd like to see carry our barely art products. Next, we have our Wishbone holiday stamps. They are now available on our website. Um, you can just go on there. We've got holidays, Halloween, Christmas, and I think just a couple of floral uh, fall, autumn kind of stamps. I'm really excited about those. They're beautiful, and I think you should definitely check those out if you're into stamping and you're getting ready for the holidays. We also, speaking of that, it um, they... The Wishbone Stamps comes from our Friends of Barely Art line. That is where we are connecting with crafters and creatives all across um, our audiences. And if you guys have products that you want to sell, we would love to share them on our website and help you guys out and become a strong connection for you guys. So definitely we'll talk about that more. And if you have any um, products you want to talk about, you can reach out to us. Definitely reach out. Also, Design Team 8 applications are now closed and members have been contacted. So we had a lot of awesome entries, lots of applications. Uh, we had, I had so, my email box was just full um, of great projects. So <laughs> it was a really hard choice. We even added more spaces onto our current design team because I want to try and fit everyone in there. Uh, so if you check your inbox i think we're still have a couple more crafters we're looking at but um you would have gotten an email check your spam and uh but they are closed so if you didn't get an email from us unfortunately you won't be joining us this time around but there's always next term which opens up in three months and then let's see um of course we have our free svgs on our website this project is by christian's crafty adventures and we don't have an svg for it but we do link uh, we do say we you can go to her youtube channel and get the measurements for free and then lastly we have a giveaway with whimsical wishes um i'm not sure if that's totally live yet but it's really cool i didn't bring it out here to show you guys it is a glue holder, and I'm sure someone will be kind enough to show uh, to bring that product out, but it holds our little original and our Barely Art Mini, and it is a, <laughs> thank you, one of them is a beehive like this, so your glue would go in here right like this. It's a collab we're doing with them. It's really cool. Um, that giveaway either is either alive or about to be live. It's supposed to be live today, so you'll see that pretty soon, but we're really excited about it. <laughs> And then if you want to see the cactus one, I have it right here, <laughs> like magic. So again, um, look, be on the lookout for that. Is the, is the, it's going live? the, that is going live right now, actually. So <laughs> really exciting stuff. These are pretty awesome pieces. I just love looking at them. I think I like the cactus is my favorite, but you know, I can't say no to a sweet honey beehive. All right. So that is our last announcement. So now let's get to what we've all been waiting for, the craft. And here to craft with me today is our special guest, um, Christiane from Christiane's Crafty Adventures. Hi, Christiane. Hi, Andrea. How are you? Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Well, actually, it's <laughs> afternoon now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're so excited to have you back on. It's been a while. It has been a while. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I absolutely appreciate it. Of course. We're so glad to have you. And so did you want to share with everyone what we're making today? Yes, we're making we're making a 3D backpack. It's a coffin-shaped backpack, but it's very, very spacious inside. And then the the lid portion is an actual shaker. And then there's an I actual backpack. I tried to wear it. It did not work. So I wouldn't recommend <laughs> that you do that at home. It's very spacious. The height is about eight inches. The width from here to here is about six inches. It's so much fun to make, you guys. So much fun to make and so easy. It's really cute. I really like it. It is very spacious, too. I, my favorite part is the shaker, though, I will say. <laughs> <laughs> I love putting the shaker bits. It's just so much fun to to make it all like move and everything and mm -hmm. hearing it. I yeah, love, you still have some really part. cool sprinkles to put in it. So I'm excited to put those in again. 
thing. <laughs> if they want, um, if they want to make this um, at home, it is in my YouTube channel. It's going to be in a live. Um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to. Let me see if I can. I'm allowed to put the link. Let me put the oh, link. I'm not yeah. sure if it's going to work. No, I don't think I can. I have I'm the link if you me. want you guys to see oh, the measurements yeah. and her uh, Christian's YouTube video that is in our bio on Instagram. So if you go on Instagram, click on the links in our bios and click on Friday Live Supplies. And there we'll have a uh, Christian's um, free measurements, I think, on YouTube. Yes, 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 yes. It is free for you. Super fun to make. I think it's going to be a cute present or something <laughs> special that you want to give to a friend or a family member. Definitely a good <laughs> place Halloween. to keep your Halloween candy. <laughs> yes, definitely. And it's sturdy, so you can put a lot in there. Awesome. Okay, so where do we start on this one? I think we're going to start with, um, you, you're going to have two acetate sheets. Okay. And then you're going to have this one. So we're going to attach this one to the acetate sheet first. Okay. I think that will be best. And then we're going to go from there. So we're going to use the best glue in the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So glad you like it. <laughs> and we're so I good. absolutely love it. <laughs> I'm glad. Of course, you've been on our design team for a while now. So you've definitely had uh, plenty of access to some Bailey Art glue. Yes. I don't think I'm ever going to go back. Even if I'm not part of the design team, I think I would just (laughs) never use anything else because it's so perfect. It's the best tip in town. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad. And we do get that question a lot about if it works on acetate, and it does, you guys, just FYI. It works perfectly. Mm-hmm. So that's why I, I try to do these ones first so that it uh, we allow it to dry because we're going to do the, we're going to do the, um, like the foam sheet, the foam mm-hmm. strip is what we're going to do next. Perfect. And I think you're going to be using the, the Barely Arts glue, right? Yes, I'll be using Barely Arts. Uh, the, um, what do you oh, call Oh, I'm sorry, Barely Arts. The, the Cubies. Yes, yes, our newest product. It's almost out, you guys. Um, if you're on our email list, you uh, will be hearing about it soon. If you aren't on our email list, then hurry up and get on our email list. Uh, we've only announced <laughs> this on our uh, lives here. So if you haven't been watching them before, you didn't know about this, but it is coming out October 7th, which we're really excited about. We've gotten a lot of great feedback from design team members who have been able to use this uh, in the past. And um, I think we just sent out a bunch more to our design team and more will come even with a new design team coming up. So very exciting, very exciting about that. I am so excited about this. So we've got our extra tall uh, foam strips here. So what I'm doing now is after you attach this one, Mm -hmm. you set it aside to dry. Okay. And then now we're gonna use our cubies and we're going to put them around our coffin awesome so that we can make our our shaker portion so i'm just very edge the only thing about asti is that it's so clear that I mean, sometimes I can't figure out where the edge is. I think that's I so true. It. <laughs> it is a challenge, especially we're doing two sheets of acetate. Uh huh. <laughs> Let's see after on the this, comments. It's going to be have... over. Okay, perfect. Um, after this week, or I'm sorry, not after this. In the comments, we have Samantha's craft design. She says, "Hello, good afternoon. Hi, Samantha." And then Wally's Hi, boutique. Samantha. Hi. She says hello. Uh, Debbie says, I'm using my Bailey Art glue right now on my project. Oh, so glad. Me too. (laughs) 
And then Marsha Me says, three. I, <laughs> I can't wait. And then we have Creations by Myra. Put a piece of dark cardstock paper underneath and you can see it better. Noted. Thank oh, you, Myra. All right. I think I have some right here. That means I'm going to do that. And she's absolutely correct. That helped a lot. Thank you, Myra. <laughs> okay there we good go tip, good tip <laughs> very good that's what my favorite part about the lives is when everyone shares their best crafting tips with me because i don't know everything definitely don't know everything it's good to learn yes. from other crafters who have experienced it absolutely and of course we want to see everyone who's crafting with us today um, we want to know where are you crafting at today? Obviously, or not obviously, if you've seen our lives before, I always say where we're at, but I'll say it again. Uh, currently, I am in Arlington, Texas at Barely Art Headquarters. The weather is finally letting up and it's not, uh, you know, horribly hot outside anymore. So, today, anyway. That is awesome. <laughs> I am crafting in California right now, Northern California, which is specifically Roseville. Oh, cute. Is where I'm at. Yep. How's the weather over there? Oh, it's getting better. It was the <laughs> highest we had was like 122, which is like, that's hot. Oh, that is, yeah, no. Once it passes the hundreds, it's like, why? Why are you doing this? It almost feels like an Same. attack. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie says yeah. she's in Prescott Valley, Arizona in the house. Very good with air conditioning, as I hope. And then Martinez a nap says Los Angeles, California. Hello. Nice to have you guys on here. All right. Hello, I've got everyone. my phone tape on. I think it's I've covered all my bases. Yeah, wow. You're super fast. Oh, yay. See, when Jeremy's here, he talks and I talk and we just like we're in a competition, but not in a competition. And so last time he beat me by a good amount and he called me, uh, I think it's Slodria, and I was very much personally offended. So oh, oh, I'm oh, oh, <laughs> that is messed up. Shots fired. It was so mean. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. I've been trying to come up with a, uh, a name to call him back next time when he loses, but I haven't thought of one yet. Oh my god! <laughs> we need to we need to find something so we can get even. <laughs> so, are you putting your? I think you're putting your shaker now, right? Yes, I've got my sprinkles here. And I'm just gonna open this little bag. I'm just gonna dump all of them in here because the more the merrier when it comes to sprinkles. Yes, it's so much fun. I love the little spiders you have in here. I thought they were so cute. Yeah, the, those spiders are so much fun to put. And I never realized it until... Because they're from Walmart. I got them from Walmart. And they're so much fun. Um, oh. <laughs> you're going to notice that I send you edible, edible sprinkles. Uh-huh. I did notice. I smelled the sweet uh, sugariness of sprinkles right away. <laughs> Yay. I love to use edible sprinkles because... In a case of emergency and you get hypoglycemic, you'd be like, <laughs> got it. I got some source of my sugar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, crafting with care. Oh, look how cute. I'm going to take the googly eyes. It's too big. Let me see on the comments we have. Oh, Wally's Wall, Boutique is crafting in Rhode Island. KL Paper Designs is in New Jersey. Hello, guys. I'm so glad you could join us. Thank you. If you guys are crafting uh, something really good, hopefully you already got your measurements and are crafting this really cute shaker backpack with us. Yay! <laughs> so excited. I hope you have a lot is. of different um, holiday projects, Christian. But so, what's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is probably still Christmas because it has the music, <laughs> true, and everything. Definitely Christmas for sure. What about you? I love Christmas. Um, it was always like the most fun at my house when I was a kid. And uh, my mom and I would get, I get on Christmas break from school and we would just sit and watch Hallmark movies all day long in yes. our PJs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know. There's something about Hallmark movies that just, it just works out all the time. They're predictable, you know? but they're the best. They're <laughs> yes i agree i love hallmark movies i feel like what life is serious enough already hmm. 
um, it gives you the joy. It gives you the joy of the holidays or it's just the vibes of it. And they're so positive. <laughs> Sometimes you just need that. You just need that in your life at that moment. And I love that about Hallmark. What's your favorite Hallmark movie? Ooh, favorite Hallmark movie? I'm not sure. Um, I mean, I've seen a lot and I can't necessarily say I remember each one. I feel like I watch a new one every time now. Um, yes, I, I really did like the, I think it was, um, I think it was like a print. Was there, I'm not sure if that was either Netflix or Hallmark, Christmas but it was like Prince? a Prince. Yes, Christmas Prince. Christmas I think they Prince. had like three yeah. different ones. It was like Christmas prints, and then it was like uh, they, had baby, they had a baby, and they got married, and all this <laughs> cute stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, definitely. That is the Christmas prints. Christmas my favorite Prince. is the Christmas inheritance. Me and my daughter love to watch that during the holidays. Which one is? It is so that cute. One? It sounds familiar. There's, so there's her. She's an heiress from New York, and then she was asked to go to like a falls where her dad's business started something to the effect. And she was like a socialite, you know, that kind of Hallmark movie. Uh huh. And then she gets back to her roots. You know how it is. Right. Of course. And it's so cute. And she meets a guy. Of course, you always meet a guy. <laughs> right. And let me guess. And they fall in they love. They fall in love. <laughs> they always fall in love, which is the perfect thing to do on Christmas. It's just always so happy. I mean, it's just, that's I what I think know. we would like about them the best is that they're always a happy ending. And I mean, like we said, I said it was predictable. They're predictable, but it's predictable, predictably happy. <laughs> Yes, and that's why you go there is to get a little bit of joy and a little bit of positivity. <laughs> and why not? Why not? Mm. It's okay to want positivity, right? Because yeah. it's not right. always in the news. So you gotta have to find it for yourself. Agreed. I really like the uh, the Hallmark Channel right now. I know they're doing their their autumn session where it was like falling in love <laughs> oh how cute <laughs> yeah my mom and i started one the other day um and i can't remember we just like at the very beginning i said okay let me guess they that guy that they just showed right now he's the other guy he's the main character um for the girl and they're gonna get in an argument and they're not gonna like each other at first but for some reason they'll be forced to work together and then when they do they'll fall in love and yeah that's in exactly a project right <laughs> somebody assigns them a project yeah it's always <laughs> that they have to work together some way or another <laughs> that's oh. right that's right me and my daughter would always watch christmas inheritance and she would she's 13 mm-hmm. years old she's gonna be 14 in a few in a few weeks but that's what we always watch and and my i have a son and he's like i'm not interested <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's gonna be you know it's always me and my daughter and we mm-hmm. know the story by heart but we just love sitting in the couch all cozied up and everything and just soaking in the joy of the <laughs> christmas spirit yeah my sister my younger sister she's currently 19 and she's not really she's not much of a fan of it she's like and eh, it's okay I'm like but it's so much fun i mean mom definitely we would get yeah. our like hot drinks, hot chocolate, tea. Uh, my mom likes coffee, so she had a coffee, and we would just sit there on the couch and watch movies all day long. Yes, absolutely agree. Especially, like, if it's your day off, you definitely want to mm-hmm. do that. <laughs> How fun. I love Hallmark movies so much. Okay, so just now I've got um, the big coffin piece and then the mm-hmm. patterned paper, right? Yes. That's our next part. Awesome. It's so easy. You're just pretty much assembling it together Mm -hmm. and then putting a lid. And I call it, it's, I call it three defying because technically this is a coffin shaped. If you call it like an oversized coffin shaped ephemera, right? It's a die cut Mm -hmm. that you can, that you can do, but you just reimagine it and kind of three defy it and make it into a, you can make it into a gift box. You can make it in this case, we made it into a shaker backpack, which is so much fun. You just have to use your imagination. Um, you don't even need an, a die cutting machine. You just need your scoring board mm-hmm. and your scoring tool and your fabulous glue in the world. <laughs> and you're good to go. That's all you need. 
And then I have two pieces. I've got a smaller coffin and a bigger coffin. Does it matter which one I use? You're going to need two big coffins. Okay. Two big. Yeah. So two big coffins. One has the print and one is the one is the plain one because that's going to be the back portion. So what we're creating at this moment is this. Oh, okay. This piece. Awesome. Yeah. And then the back piece will be your plain one. Perfect. Okay. Yep. Like that. I wish I sent you the magnet. Next time I'm going to send you one. <laughs> we had some, but they were like these really chunky ones that wouldn't, if, if we put them on, it would have the, probably have the backpack like poking off like this much. So oh, we were like, yeah. oh, next, uh, next time, time I'll okay. send you these. <laughs> oh, those are cute. I'll send you these. They're small. Nice. Yeah, they're, okay. Yeah, they're thin. Mm -hmm. And yep, I'll send nice. you. Yeah, I was just thinking we should probably time. order some more magnets because I think there's some I'll pretty cool products out there that girl. need them. Thank you. I Always looking out for us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now you have, were you able to glue this portion already? Yes. Perfect. So you got your two bigs. One is printed and one is not printed. Mm -hmm. So you're going to set that aside, my friend, and we're going to be... We're going to be going to our side panels. Ah, perfect. Okay. Nice. Okay. So you're going to notice that this one is your reinforcement. Mm -hmm. You're going to use your reinforcement and you're going to glue that onto itself. Okay. So you're going to do that for both. It just makes your project a little bit more sturdy. Awesome. It's rock solid. You're going to do that for both of them. Just folding it I think down. it would be best tip and tell. It would be good to note that if you're doing this with us today, um, if you want to cover your side panel, now is the opportunity. If you didn't use like double-sided paper or printed scrapbook paper, now would be a great opportunity to cover this with your decorative if you want to. I hmm. didn't do it, <laughs> but it's an option. And I would do it. If, if you're going to do it, do it now instead of when it's three to five. Ah, uh, Okay. That makes you know sense. what I mean? That now is yeah, the perfect so you have to time deal to with like the folding uh, edges and the turns. Correct. Just where it lays flat. Perfect. Okay. All right. I've so put my tab down. It's reinforced. Perfect. Perfect. So essentially, what we're trying to do is we're trying to we're gonna glue this here. I just want us to kind of have an idea. We're gonna glue it right here, and then the other coffin we're gonna glue on the back so that it's slowly coming together. Does that make sense? Let's so you're see. just going to glue it. But we're not gluing it right now. I'm just saying that that's what oh, okay. we're going to do. We're, we're go I'm going to have you get your scissors. We're going to cut these tabs off Okay. in one of them. So we're going to cut this. That's just the other side from the one that we reinforced, right? Okay, yes. perfect. That's the other side. That's correct. So we are going to do that. I just want you to cut the tab because we're going to glue it onto the other side. It's the awesome. exact same piece, but the other one does not have the tab portion. Okay, got it. So just like this, see? One without the tab and one with a tab. Okay. And we're going to attach. Does that make sense? Yeah. I see it. I see the coffin shape. Okay. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so we're still on these two big pieces, and right now, let's set aside. We have a smaller piece and a little rectangular piece. Right, those are just sitting on the sidelines right now. Which one? Yes. Okay. Which one? This one. The um the smaller uh squarish tab. 
Yeah, that one's just kind of sitting um, next to us right now. Yes. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna put that there then. That's gonna be your your connect connector for later. Perfect. So right now we have the one without the tab and the one with the tab. So and All then right. what's gonna happen is what's gonna happen is you're going to glue, you're gonna put it on top of each other. So you're just gonna glue that for reinforcement. Perfect. Okay. I know it uses a lot more paper, but I really like the projects reinforced because it's solid. Mm -hmm. And you can put a lot more in it, not just paper, not just embellishments, but you can actually put chocolates or yeah. like I tried to put um, candy, sequence mix, um, Bath and Body Works, actually. <laughs> <laughs> actually, that would be a really cute it's, present if you put like little lotions and things in there. Would it be so cute to do that? Oh, Would it's going to be? be so much fun. If somebody if somebody just puts it on your desk, mm -hmm. why not? And with the theme, like, because the, Bath and Body Works comes out with all the, the holiday lotions and um, uh, body washes and candles. And so it would be, like, perfect oh, to put yes. those themed ones into, like, the themed backpack. That would be so cute. And imagine if this was Christmas backpack. Exactly. Or Valentine's. <laughs> that would be like, well, this is a perfect gift. <laughs> Agreed. Okay, so we have this, right? We have mm -hmm. it. I want us to assemble it while it's flat. Okay. So we're going to add this here and we're going to attach it. So we're going to add our glue here and we're going to attach the back portion of our coffin, the one that's plain. Okay. Plain. Okay. So we're doing that super easy. Oops. Right there. Perfect. And then you're going to attach your decorative one. Okay. There you go. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> awesome. It's coming together. It just, imagine, like this project used to be just paper. Mm -hmm. It was just pieces of paper, you know, a couple acetate sheets, just paper. And then we're going to transform it into something that we can physically hold and touch and share to another person. And that's what I love about crafting it's a love of paper too. and then just the creation. So much fun. It's just like it, it's, you, I think when you, after you've crafted for, for a while, you kind of forget because you say that um, what's being made, what you can make with paper, but then you show like maybe your family members or a friend and they're like, and this is paper and you just made this out of just regular old paper. I'm like, yeah. yeah. And it's just, you, for, you remember, all oh, right, it's kind of amazing. <laughs> I agree. And it's just like, you have to remind yourself, like, this is, this is an amazing hobby and it mm -hmm. gives me so much joy. It does give me so, so much joy when I, when I craft. So we are going to let this dry. Okay. Let that dry. We're not going to attach it just yet because we're going to be dealing with our friend right here. Perfect. Grab this piece out. Okay, so the thicker flaps, the thicker flaps are your reinforcement. So you're gonna fold that <laughs> and attach it onto itself. Awesome. It I'm just makes it. It just makes it really sturdy, and it goes here. That's also one of my favorite parts. Like uh, you keep talking about reinforcing the paper, and it just makes it feel like it's. Like if you touch it and you hold it, because maybe it doesn't look like paper and then someone picks it up and it's like, oh, it's kind of flimsy, but something that's strong and sturdy. It's like, wait, this is, this is still paper. I still can't tell. It's so strong. It's rock solid. This is a 110 pound cardstock, but I think it just makes it 
it just lasts longer, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, and it stays on your desk solid. I love, love, love reinforcing my projects because you put so much heart and obviously resources and so much of your time right. creating. And you want it to, you know, to last and you want your recipient to be able to use it for a while. So as you can see, this one will be, will be the lid portion. Okay. So if you look at, if you look at our prototype right here, this is this. Oh, okay. I see. Mm, so yeah, it will be this piece right here is what this piece is. So that piece, the one that we just used, mm-hmm. the one that we just attached, that's going to be holding our star of the show right here. <laughs> <laughs> Superstar. And then it attaches it to the back of your of your coffin. So so now, so now let's orient ourselves. So this is the front of the coffin, which is the mm-hmm. decorative portion. We're not going to attach it to that. We're going to attach it to the other one in the back. Okay, the plain one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So we're going to attach it right there. Are you attaching it to the inside of that one? You can. Yeah, you can okay. do the inside Perfect. portion of it. So that it doesn't show in the back. I mean, yeah, it doesn't okay. matter because the straps are going to be there, but, you know. So we want to hear particular well, We're here about for that. details. <laughs> right. So you're just going to attach right there. This is a solid project. It's so much fun to make. I love that's that. What, I what love tool are you coffee. using? Because I, because uh, for sure, like this thicker paper on like reinforced, um, reinforced and reinforced with the folds. Like, what are you using to uh, keep those nice and crisp edges? Oh, this is called a bone folder. Okay. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. called a scoring tool, and you can find it in your local Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, your friendly Amazon store, you can find it. Because I don't I don't always see it in my Joann's, so I can't recommend mm-hmm. because it's not consistently there. Oh, okay, okay. Sometimes you can see it, but not all the time consistently. Maybe it gets sold out, I don't know. Mm-hmm. So if you look at your local, local Amazon store. And then I did Ooh, see a comment and someone there. said, <laughs> uh, it looks like A-L, how oh, I can't, I don't know what their name is, A-L-E-J-O-S, Delight, it says, I love this digital paper, and I agree, that di- the, or the paper that you have um, looks really nice, is that digital paper, or is that, like, something you bought? This is, um, this is, uh, it's a doodle, the name of the company is called Doodlebug, and, um, the the shop that I get it from is called Three Craft Chicks. Oh, Three cute! Craft, yeah, Three Craft Chicks because let me write it down: threecraftchicks.com. You can use my coupon code Christian Ten if you want a discount. Um, awesome. And they have it at their store. It's a small, you know, it's a small business from Washington. Threecraftchicks.com. So that's the name of the store. And it's so, so cute. I love, love, love it. So <laughs> what we're going to do right now, my friend, is we're going to attach the side panels. Okay. Super easy. And it will align. It should align perfectly. Okay. And turn this my way. There we go. 
Yay. Yeah, that aligned. That did align perfectly. <laughs> I'm going to get nervous if it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is so, so much fun. I love crafting. Like you were saying earlier, it's such a stress reliever, which is kind of nice because it's my mm-hmm. job. So I, it's almost like I work and I relax at the exact same time play. some days. <laughs> work and play at the same time. Yes. I have a stressful job. So I crafting is my crafting is my time of peace which oh, yeah. I, I, my husband lets me craft. So I just appreciate it so very much. And you're an ER nurse, is that correct? Yes, I'm an ER nurse. Yeah, that does sound very stressful. <laughs> it, can <be>. <laughs> <laughs> it can be a little bit of a life and death situation <laughs> sometimes. And now we're going to just, now we're going to attach our front piece. Perfect. It just, it just comes together so quick. It does. Like I was, uh, when we had, when we just started, I was like, oh, it's going to take a bit to all these pieces. But now it's just like one, two, three, and boom, we got a coffin. Yeah. Start with a shaker. One, two, three pieces, and you're good. Not bad, not bad for a big project. <laughs> yeah, not bad at all. It just looks intimidating. <laughs> yeah, especially really I think simple. the shaker always adds such like a fun movement element. Um, it makes it look hard for some reason, just because there's like, oh, there's so many pieces. I don't know. It looks like I, I could mess up and make a mess or something, but no, it's pretty straightforward. It's, but it turns out really nice. Right. So <laughs> so fun. So fun. Alrighty. And then the favorite part is the shaker bit getting attached. Yes. That's like the ah! moment. <laughs> <laughs> the ah moment. The ah moment. That's my favorite. The good thing about the Barely Arts glue, it, it doesn't dry so fast that you don't have time to react. It just dries at the right time when you're ready. Mm-hmm. You know, especially with acetates. Like you can't make yeah. a shaker with a glue gun. Even if I use the glue gun all the time, it's just not possible to make a shaker with them. And this is yeah. a perfect product for that. Awesome. I'm so glad you like it. Um, yeah, we get that question a lot about acetate and if it's good for shakers. And it is. It works pretty well. I think we've used uh, our barely glue on all the shakers that we've made on the lives and um, just on when we're making crafts uh, behind the scenes. And I've, n- I've never had a problem with it. In fact, I, um, glue, glue guns now like kind of scare me because I'm, like, I'm not going to have time to move things around. <laughs> yes, that's the problem with a glue gun is you don't have time to kind of maneuver it. Mm-hmm. And that's what's perfect about Barely Arts. It dries quickly, but it dries slow enough for you to be able to reposition if you are kind of moving things around. And it dries mm-hmm. clear too, which is yeah. absolutely perfect. Noise, noise, noise. <laughs> oh, I can see the shaking. <laughs> How cute. Okay, we're going to set that aside and don't touch that because it's attached to an acetate and the paper. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to proceed with our strappy straps. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, cute. I love the yellow. I love your choice of the yellow so much. Thank you. I like polka dots. I really so do. I think they're cute. so cute. <laughs> Oh, how fun is the shaker portion, isn't it? It's gorgeous. I love it. It's really big, too. Like It's not just like a little bit of a shaker. It's like the whole thing, which I love about that. Mm-hmm. It's like a giant coffin shaker business. Yeah. Yep. It's Let's like the biggest comments. shaker I've ever made in my life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my princess A21 says, mm, it's Spanish, precioso. 
And then we've got uh, Sharon Bellison says hi from Southern California. And let's see. Hi. I've got Ray- Raven Holler from the Shaker and says the Shaker looks great. Thank you. And then um, A-L-E- A-L-E-J-O-S Delight says, oh my gosh, so cute. Or so cutting. I'm thinking she needs cute. <laughs> and then Made for Balloons says, I love it. I'm so glad. Yay. Hello, everyone. And then Nabora Rai, sorry, I'm messing up the names, um, says, que, li- que lindo. So cute. Que so, and also she had a little, little wave emoji, so hello. <laughs> hello. All right. I don't have any paper for my straps. They're just going to be black, but so I'm ready as soon as you are. You're just kind of um, curving them a little bit, it looks like. Yes. So I'm I'm just reconditioning because the paper all their life was made to be straight. Mm-hmm. And now we're kind of negotiating the paper to be like, hey, curve a little for me. <laughs> so it needs it needs a little bit of chatting with. Got it. And that's how you chat with the paper is that's, that's why the bone folder is really an important tool. It's seven dollars, I think, of some sort. It's less than ten dollars, but it makes a huge difference when it mm-hmm. comes to making your projects sharp. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, when it comes to negotiating with the paper, it's the best <laughs> tool to negotiate with. <laughs> the Mizura, yeah. Mizura nineteen says your Spanish pronunciation is a pronunciation is a great girl. Thank you. I'm trying. <laughs> and then uh, Robin Holzier says hello from Germany. Oh wow! Hi. Oh. That's a long way away. Glad you could join yes. us. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you. So now, so now if you're just going to fold mm-hmm. approximately maybe like half an inch, okay. if you have, a, if you have um, like a scoreboard, you can mm-hmm. score half an inch on both sides. Okay. And then we're going, to, we're going to glue. If you have it, if not, you can easily fold it. Yeah. I don't have them with me, so I'm just going to use my thumb. Which yes, use your thumb. And you really. know what would be what would be good also is your credit card. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, credit cards are also good. It's good for shopping, and it's good for <laughs> making sharp creases. <laughs> you can buy the crafts and use it to make the crafts. That's right. So many purposes <laughs> for the credit card. <laughs> That's why I love the credit card. <laughs> And now we're going to attach it to oh, our... She might be in... Coffee. Sorry, one second. We have someone walking door. Can you check in that door? And then um, Chelsea will help you in this closed door right here. Yes. And then Chelsea might be able to help you with that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. And then I'm just going to fold the one other end here. There we go. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. I see Tanya. It's hi, Christian. Love the shaker. Hi, Tanya. And then Cad's Creations is hello, Bailey Arts. Hello. Uh, Robin Holzier says, we love your projects. Thank you. I'm so glad. Okay. So I've got my straps here. They're folded. And I was a little distracted, but now I'm back. Um, And we're just gluing on the straps now. Yes. Yes, Perfect. Honey. <laughs> so, easy, so easy. It's so easy. That's what I love about the projects. Is it, it used to be paper, and now you give it a different kind of life, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, reimagined. <laughs> What's, do you have um, a favorite project that you've reimagined? Um, my favorite project is my sewing machine. Oh, really? I made a sewing machine out of paper. Yes. But it took two years to kind of, I've had eight prototypes with that project. And finally, oh, wow. after two years, I was able to create the tutorial and it doesn't have SVGs <laughs> because I don't know how to, I don't, I'm very computer illiterate. So I just can't <laughs> make it connect. It's just not clicking in my brain. I just, try, I tried <laughs> And it's just not for the lack of trying. It's just not working. <laughs> I was 
you know, I was a nurse before this century. So <laughs> this, it, I, this, I just come from a different <laughs> generation. It just is not working for me. So that's why I still craft and create 3D projects with just the scoring board because I don't know how to use my Cricut. I do have a Cricut. <laughs> Don't yeah, know how to use I it. don't blame you. It took me a while to learn. I remember getting my first got one. Um, I was so frustrated. And my mom can, uh, if she was here, she would be able to comment on it too. But when it comes to technology, ever since I was a kid, when I couldn't get a problem um, fixed right away, I was just like the most angry. I had my face is red. I'm all upset. So I don't blame you. Oh <laughs> my you gosh. I, it. Up like, I give up. I give up. I'm yeah. just going to go back to my scoring board and my scoring tool. It has work. <laughs> right. Don't mess up a good thing, right? Don't, what's it, what do they yeah. say? Uh, you don't have to fix what's not broken. That's right. Yeah. So if you can avoid the frustration, and especially considering that you're saying crafting is like your, uh, your calm, your relaxation. Then, yeah. Let's play. Like, we can skip the, the complicated parts. Let's like, Let's like not need that in our lives right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. We have a backpack. I tried to wear it. It just, no, don't try to wear it. <laughs> it's not going to work. <laughs> but it's cute. It's it solid. It is cute. Ooh. Look <laughs> at that shaker. It just, they just go everywhere. Love it. You know these these edible shakers. If you don't try to to squeeze them with your fingers, or you don't, mm -hmm. don't intentionally try to destroy them, they will last. Uh -huh. Oh, really? Okay, good. I was wondering about yeah. that. I wondered because I figured they wouldn't. Because I've seen you and a lot of other crafters use like edible um, sprinkles. I thought I wonder if they get like uh, just messy and crumbly. But um, that's so it's no. good to know. I didn't know that. Yeah, if you if you if you don't squish them intentionally, mm -hmm. they don't squish by themselves. Oh, okay. If you they will just get destroyed if you if you squish them, obviously. But if you just leave them alone and then mm -hmm. as the years progress, like I have a shaker mix that I created in 2019 and it it feels like rock solid right now after oh, three years. Nice. So I okay. just wait. Yeah. I get the shakers when when they expire mm -hmm. and then I add like sequence mix to them because they're more cost effective if you get them on clearance, you know? Oh, you didn't even think about that. That's so smart. That's a good tip. <laughs> yes. I like that one. Love it. Nice. Okay, so we've got our backpack now. What is our next step? Our next step is our handle. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're just going to fold it. And again, it's reinforced. You're going to fold it and attach mm -hmm. onto itself. Okay. And then just like that. Okay, I have a hypothetical question for you. Yes, ma'am. If, okay, if like a crafty wizard, let's say a very rich person decided, oh, I, I am going to give Andrea a she mm -hmm. shed and she can <laughs> fill it with crafty supplies. It's the same as my island question. <laughs> <laughs> what mm -hmm. are you going to fill it? Because money is not an option and you can only fill it with five things and you're going to keep it that way. You cannot hmm. buy any more. Oh boy. And it's a she shed. It's not, it, you're not floating at sea. You're not <laughs> trying to save your life. It's just, it's just for crafting purposes. What hmm. would you put in your she shed? Like your priority? I would definitely put in some, uh, I'd start off with the basics. So I got my glue, my scissors. That's two things. I think you can do yes. a lot with that. And then, yes, you need your glue for sure. <laughs> and then, um, I'm not sure how it does. I, I would say paper, but I'm not sure. Does that you know, like a lot of paper? Does that count as um, more than one? One of my okay. So a lot of no, paper. no, no. That's it. That get that category of one of paper is one. Just counts as one. <laughs> so you can bring a variety of different colors, textures, everything. 
up to you, but you can do paper and scissors and then you glue. Okay, let's see. Paper, that's, scissors, glue. That's... And um, I would say, because I do use the Cricut a lot, I think I would take my Cricut and computer. So those are my other two things. And if I couldn't take my Cricut and computer, I would take a, um, oh, what was he going to say? You could oh, take anything knife. with you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, then I would take my computer and my Cricut because I think those I could make a lot with. I'd have a lot of fun doing that. Isn't it amazing? Like you, we have so many things in our crafty arsenal. Like my craft room is filled with other things, but technically you're right. Like when you think about it, you just need paper, scissors, mm -hmm. glue, your cricket in your computer, and you're going to find a whole gamut of possibilities. Like I'm going to bring my, I'm going to do the paper too, my scissors, my glue mm -hmm. as well, but I'm going to bring my scoring board and my scoring tool. And that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah perfect and then um looks like someone else of them the on the comments and they want to give theirs and they said paper barely art, glue glitter acetate and tape nice very true paper barely art, glue oh yes yes <laughs> yes yes, yes. <laughs> okay, i've got my um handle oh i forgot to attach my decorative thing <laughs> This one. Oh, 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 right. I guess I'm going to have to attach it now. I'm going to go ahead and put my handle on. I wish I sent you some studs also, Andrea. I'm sorry. I, I saw it. it or the magnet and the studs. I I forgot about it. No problem. I saw the studs in the, like, the picture you sent us, and I was like, those are so cute. I didn't have enough time to get some for myself, but I thought they were adorable, and I would definitely note them for next time. Um, I do a craft. I think that those were adorable. Like, just so, just little, the little things. The little things add so much. Yes. It looks like an actual professional bag. <laughs> Got my handle on. My back. Yay. Back and then we're gonna and then we're gonna attach it and then it's done. <laughs> it's gonna look tall right now, but look how easy. And then it's gonna be sturdy. Yeah, I can already feel that. Like I don't think I think we even just used um it might be 80 pound car stick and you used a hundred and ten, you said. That one is a hundred ten. That's all very thick paper and it feels very sturdy which i absolutely yeah. love that one that you're using is 110 for sure <laughs> oh okay that's right you sent it um okay cool so it's 110 i was like it feels very thick i knew it wasn't 65 because I, that's what i usually use I'm like this is definitely thicker solid it makes a huge difference mm -hmm. and the price point it's not that different Look how cute is our backpack. Those are so cute. I love it. Oh my gosh, it turned out so well. Yay. And then if you want to add your castle or what do you call um I have some Oh the haunted house pieces. Art. Yeah, the haunted house you can add. I am going to find some to add to mine. Put this as my last piece on here because we're almost out of time. But I think this is going to add just that little bit that I want to show. Right there, maybe. Uh, I'll put out a tree. But you be mindful that you have to add it to where it's not going to get covered. So it depends mm -hmm. on how much of the shaker bits you put. Because mm -hmm. I did that and then it got covered. So be <laughs> mindful of how much. <laughs> mm, got it's it it's like oh you can't see the face because of course i put so much yeah mine's a little low but i think it comes out just uh buried in sprinkles a little bit but that's okay because i have another one just add to the so, top over here it's so cute it's so <laughs> fun this was a really cute one. It's definitely different some, than what we've done before. So thank you so much, Christian, for sharing this one with us. Um, if you guys want um, to see the measurements, Christian has all the measurements on her YouTube, Christian's Crafty Adventure. You can also follow her on Instagram, which we do. And if you want to see more of her stuff, you can go follow her there. And you can also follow Bailey Art because she is on our design team. So definitely Yay. give us all a follow. If you want to see more fun and different 
projects. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we go. <laughs> uh, and then I've got some fluorescent spiders right here. I'm gonna just top oh, it so off. Cute. Um, I will show you guys how they reflect, but it is a little bright in here, so I'll have to show you guys in a story on Instagram. Stick him here. All righty. All right, here's my finished backpack. Uh, let me just show it here. The sprinkles look great. I had so much fun. Oh, I, I love, love the them. 3D sturdiness of it. It looks so cute. Um, thank you for joining us today, Christian. I really had a lot of fun. I've missed uh, missed you. I've, <laughs> you were on our, been on our design team. I don't think we crafted with you um, since last year, so it was really fun to catch up. And again, you guys, if you want to see this project, um, it is linked in our bio right now. So go ahead and see that on Instagram. And it'll go to Christian's YouTube, Christian's Crafty Adventures, and check that out. Um, so really quick before we go, Christian, I'm going to tell you, I don't know if you've seen the endings of our lives before, but me and Jeremy will say buh bye <laughs> And if you want to do that with me, um, yeah, <laughs> if you want to do that with me, uh, we'll sign off and tell everyone bye. So thanks for joining us. And uh, Christian, you want to start us off? Thank you for coming and bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>